Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Zite, aka Low Red, and we, as a Lakers fan, you know, finally woke up to some good news. And so did Patrick Beverly, man. Woke up as a Laker. We traded him for THT. Thank God, Taylor is finally gone. We could stop caring all about, you know, his potential, his trade value, including him in every single trade package ever imaginable honestly just made his trade value just go down and his season that he had last year made his trade value go down because he's just not who we were hyping him up to be to be honest that being said he's probably gonna play good for the timberwolves it's just what happens whenever we get rid of a player they play good like jordan clarkson julius randall it don't matter okay at the same time i i it doesn't i don't really care at most i think tanley could you know score but he's not a high iq basketball player his defense is not good we need defense that being said we did trade stanley johnson with him all these lakers fans you know were hyping up stanley johnson really happy that we signed him uh for another year but it, let's be honest bro stanley johnson he wasn't in the league a couple years ago he's not bad He's in the NBA for a reason, but I'd much rather have Patrick Beverly. Now, I'm looking at this lineup, bro. We have improved so much from last year. And I know it doesn't make sense because last year it looked like our roster was, you know, the super team before the season started. But you need, I think we've all determined that, you know, superstar teams are not going to work out no more. Like, look at the Nets, James Harden, Kevin Durant, and Kyrie. It didn't work out. We tried to do the big three. It didn't work out. We still have the big three, to be honest. Westbrook, AD, LeBron, Beverly. Now, they're starting to say Westbrook and Beverly aren't going to be able to play together because of the beef. Oh, man. It's basketball, bro. It's basketball. There's going to be trash talking basketball. Like, people act like <laughs> that's not normal or something. That, that means they hate each other. Bro, it's basketball. They're competitors. They're both the same emotionally they both play the game emotionally the same they're gonna beef now they're on the same team it's it's not a bad thing now everybody's trying to say Westbrook is done trade 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 you know then we got this you know LeBron saying can't wait can't can't wait for him to go off the season right then we got Beverly saying the same thing saying like this is what I'm saying it's basketball it's trash talk that doesn't mean just because they beefed in the past it doesn't mean anything it doesn't mean anything bro okay this was all tweeted this morning and then this is what Russ posted on Instagram today you see this is all Russ needed he's an emotional person which is good for the game of basketball he plays through he plays with his emotions so does Patrick Beverly I'm telling you Lakers fans I know it's frustrating to see a player not play good but it's because he's playing on emotion and he doesn't have good emotion to play good right now. He don't have the fuel he needs. Happy Russ is good, Russ. This is a good sign. Like somebody's always got something negative to say because it gives them clicks. Like really, bro? It... Oh man, this society. But yeah, going back to the team. On top of the Beverly, we added Thomas Bryant. People don't know about Thomas. They forget about Thomas Bryant. Like, before he got hurt, look, he gradually getting better each year. 10, 13, 14, and then he got hurt. ACL injury. But it's okay. He's back to where he started. He started with us. Thomas Bryant is not a bad pickup. Kendrick Nunn, yeah, he might actually play. He might actually play. That's crazy, right? A bone bruise. I guess sometimes it could be serious. That's what I heard. But... Definitely, he probably could have played last year. But look, that's not what we're going to worry about right now. Kendrick Nunn's going to play. Austin Reeves coming off a really good season. We stole him in the draft pretty much. We didn't even draft him. He was undrafted. Okay. Austin Reeves, they're saying he might start. Not anymore. Beverly, Westbrook, AD, and Thomas Bryant. This is the starting five right here. It's not debatable. So we got Nunn, Reeves, Walker, Troy Brown, Juan Toscano, and Damian Jones. Honestly, um... I'm thinking, will Lonnie Walker start? Because I feel like he could be that KCP replacement. I'm not going to be mad if he doesn't start. But one thing, one good thing about Lonnie Walker, he comes from the Spurs. He comes from Popovich. He knows how to play high, high IQ basketball. Just like uh, how the Celtics got Derek White. 
took him to the finals. Not he didn't obviously he didn't take him to the finals, but it's a piece. You know, these Spurs players go somewhere else. They're humble. Uh, maybe not DeJounte Murray though. Troy Brown Jr., I'd rather have him than Wayne Ellington. And I definitely would rather have him than Kent Bazemore, let's be honest, okay? He's a solid shooter. He's gonna do his job. Toscano. That's a highlight. That's a highlight. Get the fans up. Get the energy up, get the emotion up, and when emotion is brought up, LeBron, AD, Westbrook, and Beverly, and Bryant, all are run on emotion. This is an emotional team, okay? LeBron can keep his cool. AD can keep his cool. These two could keep their cool. But Westbrook, Beverly, and Bryant are very emotional players, so we just need Toscano to come in, get a highlight, get us up. And we're gonna be fine and then you know damian jones we gotta have him every single year for at least a week but yeah definitely can use other things like you know i guess you could say kendrick nunn is gonna lead the bench he was people forget about him he was good okay he wasn't bad he almost they were talking about him winning rookie of the year remember that austin reeves he he could low-key start he does his thing lonnie walker yeah <clears throat> see it's like but you never know lebron and ad just need some solid role players around us like we caruso was literally like reeves nobody knew who he was caruso wasn't that good when he came into the league he was on our summer league team forever not our summer league team our g league team forever kcp was a role player his entire career elevated his game playing with lebron we had markeith morris who's doesn't even barely even plays now Barely gets any minutes. JaVale McGee is a really underrated center, so I can't say nothing about JaVale. Kuzma. Not a bad player, but it's Kuzma. Like I'm saying, bro, we just need some role players around LeBron and AD. And if Westbrook can shoot a little bit better this season, I'm not worried about it. If he could be a little bit happier and cut out the noise a little bit much see this is the thing i don't see westbrook cutting out the noise to be honest like the noise is gonna have to be good we're gonna have to be good for westbrook to be good because if we're bad it's not gonna help westbrook that noise is gonna get to him okay beverly he's tough he's a competitor i like it this is a good trade you guys know how i feel about beverly i really like beverly i've always liked beverly but a lot of people don't like beverly and even magic <laughs> magic said i used to hate that's a crazy word to tweet I used to hate Beverly. I mean, you know, you know, everybody knows what he means by that. So, you know, okay. I used to hate Beverly when he played against us on the Lakers. Yeah, now I love him. And then, you know, Beverly's going to quote retweet it and say it's all love. I'm happy. This is a very, very good trade. I'm very happy for this. Okay. Very happy. How you guys feeling, bro? Patrick Beverly is a Laker. We got rid of Talon. Finally, I wanted him gone the whole last season for anybody. To be honest, a lot of people are saying Buddy Healed and Miles Turner, and we're still gonna try to trade Westbrook for him. Bro, I don't know why Lakers fans are obsessed with Buddy Healed. Why are we obsessed with Buddy Healed? Yeah, he could shoot better than Westbrook, but why are we so obsessed with him? He's just a role player. Okay, he's not as good as everybody was hyping him up to be out of college. He's good, but it's not, he's not like crazy good. For two first round picks in Westbrook, I don't know about that. Miles Turner, he's a good center, but I don't know. It's fine. I don't think we need them, to be honest. I don't think we need them. Yeah, Lakers are interested in Donovan Mitchell. You know, we're interested in a lot of people. That's just a Lakers fan being honest. You know, you guys probably don't hear that a lot. It's probably not possible because have you seen what the Jazz are declining? <laughs> like i've seen some like five first round picks ob Toppin, somebody else like they're throwing everything at them and they're saying no so who are we gonna trade westbrook and two first round picks that's what we offer everybody no they're not gonna do that they're not gonna do that the reason why it's so hard to trade russ it's not because you know he had an off season he to be honest he still played good you know his stats don't look bad obviously it's stats and westbrook you know past that whatever people want to say about him but he's still a good basketball player okay he had definitely a an off season you could say but i think it was 
highlighted a little bit more because he's playing in LA with LeBron. But that being said, the real reason why teams are not trading for him is because he's the second highest paid player in the NBA round. Second highest paid player behind Curry. He makes more than LeBron. <laughs> so that's why nobody's going to take on that contract and there's only one year left. He'll just leave. So nobody's going to trade for Westbrook, bro. It's not realistic. We're not going to trade Westbrook, okay, Lakers fans? I know you want it. We're not going to trade him. I'm, I'm fine with it. I don't want to trade him. You have, we have Russell Westbrook, bro. Okay? Yeah, everybody talks about his bank shots off the top of the backboard, but bro, come on, man. It's Russell Westbrook. It's better than who were... Buddy Heald, really? Buddy Heald. Buddy Heald. I'm not hating on Buddy Heald. He's a good player. But Buddy Heald, bro, you think he's going to be our savior? What's he going to do? He's just going to be another KCP for us. I'm not, that's not bad. Maybe that's what we need. But it's Buddy Heald. Let's stop acting like he's our savior. Miles Turner's really good, too. We got AD. Okay. Yeah, we did get rid of Dwight. We do have Damian Jones as a backup center, but you know that's how i feel about the trade how you guys feel about it man let me know down below in the comments this is Z Tech. peace